ಕರ್ಮಾತಿಶಯ ನಿವೃತ್ತ ವಿಸ್ಮಯೋಹರ್ಷ ಸಂಭವ ವಿಸ್ಮಯ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಥಾಯಿ ಭಾವ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಅದ್ಭುತ ರಸ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲಂಬನ ಆರ್ ದಿ ರೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಅಕ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಜುರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಲರ್ ಸೈಜ್ ಶೇಪ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಆರ್ ವಿಷನ್ even from our life's experiences we can see if you see a very vast expanse of a green field the first feeling is vismaya if you see a very very large object you feel wonderment at it so any exaggerated aspect of any of the above that i mentioned creates a sense of wonder but the text talks about two kinds of adbhuta rasas one bharata says is divya when you see a celestial being you see a devata you see the valorous acts of a very very righteous hero all these creates adbhuta in us and the second aspect is called anandaja it's born out of joy for a simple example if a mother whose child is studying in some other country suddenly finds her child at her doorstep along with the joy there is a sense of wonder so this is born out of ananda and there is something very interesting that dharmadatta one of the theoreticians of alankara shastra says he calls adbhuta the base rasa for all poetry because he says it is the greatest rasa because chamatkara is the essence of poetry and without chamatkriti or chamatkara the analogies the metaphors the similes the paradoxes that are present in poetry will never get established and he says if chamatkriti is the life of poetry then vismaya is the life of chamatkriti because every time you hear something very uh, beautiful along with other emotions the first emotion is wonder so these are the different contexts in which adbhuta as a rasa unfolds one of the greatest examples is the vismaya that arjuna feels when he sees the vishwarupa of krishna in a very short set of verses i am bringing out here the massiveness of krishna's appearance and the utter astonishment of arjuna when he sees this friend of his whom he knows as a god but doesn't know that he is the only supreme being ವಿಶ್ವರೂಪ ಸಂದರ್ಶನ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಗೀತ ಉಪದೇಶ ಸರ್ವೂತಶಯ ಸ್ಥಿತ 
Hey, hey, hey. 